Kotsky Sampo, the god of dot, scam, and the sexiest character in the game. Don't try me on this because it is a fact. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be doing a build guide for Mr. Kotsky Sampo himself. Because I think he's super great and he works really, really well with your mommy Kafka. So, guys, we're briefly going to go over the skills and how to level those up. We'll have timestamps in the video if you want to just get to the relic section and the light cone section later on in the video. But we'll briefly go over the skills to kind of give our reasoning on to why we're running what we're running. So, let's go ahead and talk about the skills first boys this skill is pretty strong guys it works kind of like Asta's skill where it hits multiple targets same thing can be said what he does here it hits multiple targets it's random enemies but if it's one enemy it'll hit that enemy at the same time and it'll just really it destroys enemy shields it is great for breaking enemy shields so this also has a chance to apply winter as well which we'll talk about in the talent here now as far as that talent goes he's gonna have a 65% base chance to inflict wind shear for three turns enemies inflicted with wind shear are gonna take wind dot equal to 35% of his attacks now guys this is really strong it only has a 6 65% base chance so you know of course the kits can have some effect hit right into it because we need to be hitting these effects and it also scales based off of his attack so we're going to be boosting his attack up as much as possible as well his ultimate is going to be attacking all enemies for a decent amount of damage not too much but that's not the big thing here guys the big thing that his ult does is it basically makes the enemy take more dot damage for a certain amount of turns so this is really good especially when paired with your mommy Kafka because she'll be doing dot as well and it'll be increasing the dot she procs off so yeah just really good overall for any dot teams you're probably gonna run as far as how I would recommend leveling up his abilities guys is I would upgrade the ultimate first then the talent and then the skill it really is just gonna depend though on what type of situation you have him in like for example if you're using him as your main win DPS character on your account you might want to upgrade the skill second to the ultimate just because he is going to be your main win DPS this comes a lot more in clutch whereas in the Kafka comp you really don't use his E skill that much you're really just using the basic attack to really charge up those skill points more and it keeps the dot on the enemy too so it's also really good also be going for all those effect hit rate boost orbs because that's going to mean a lot when building his kit out because you do need quite a high effect hit rate so with that being said let's go ahead and talk about the light guns now what is his best in slot halt and stop right there before kotsky scampo scams your pockets he saw that you're one of the 95 percent of people that are not subscribed to the channel and he said he's gonna scam you if you don't subscribe so please subscribe now and don't get scammed by kotsky scampo in my opinion guys i think eyes of prey is probably his best in slot it's going to be increasing the wearer's effect hit rate by 20 percent it also increases the dot by an extra 24 percent as well so this is going to be giving him the effect hit rate he needs because he does need quite a bit of effect hit rate to land his wind shear off which is you know his main thing and then it increases the damage of that wind shear as well so it's just really all around good second best in slots going to be good night sleep well just because it is giving you increased damage for every debuff that's on the enemy and with him you know you're going to at least have one debuff on the enemy at all times and then if you're running with kafka other dots as well this does increase which does overall increase his damage and it can be pretty big and then i would say his best free to play option is obviously going to be fermata this is the free to play in hilly light cone you can get right now in the game this is just going to be the best free to play option it's going to increase the break effect dealt by the wearer and it also increases their damage to enemies afflicted with shock or wind shear which sampo does this and also kafka gets shock damage so this is just really good and really comes in clutch especially because you can get this to s5 for free so yeah just overall really good i know you might think i'm talking out of my ass so let me show you guys the comparisons against these light cones now but first i want to show off like the baselines as far as the character stats goes and like the relic set that i'm using yeah, i think it's pretty reasonable but you guys can tell me in the comments if it's not so as far as like the relics go we're kind of just going with like a three stat baseline i'm not going for that four substat uh, because I, I you know you know rng and stuff you know this is going to be based off of using an attack percent body speed boots wind damage percent on the sphere and also attack rope that's what we're going to be using for eyes of prey and we're going to be changing the body to affect hit rate when we go to the other light cones just because we do need that extra effect hit rate in those kits as far as our final stats go guys we're running 83 percent effect hit right here so i mean it's pretty reasonable to think you can get this especially when using eyes of prey and at least getting one roll of effect hit rate for every piece of your gear so i do think these stats are pretty reasonable to get now as far as the difference between eyes of prey and good night sleep well this is not going to really account in for the extra damage that we're getting from dot damage so uh, do take this kind of with a grain of salt. This is just kind of the upfront damage that we're doing, right? If we take a look here at our basic attack, we're doing around 1,700 damage on average with Eyes of Prey, and we're doing 2,000 damage on average with the Signature Light Cone. Now, as far as the skill goes, this does increase significantly with Good Night Sleep Well because we are getting, you know, extra damage per proc. You're getting four to five bounces depending on if you're E1 or not. So this does, you know, add in to be a lot more damage. With Eyes of Prey, we're getting around 952 damage on average with the bounce. 
bounce and with a good night's sleep well we're getting around 1100 damage per bounce with it so it's around a 20 percent damage increase there and also with the ultimate we're getting a 20 percent damage increase here as well because our average goes from 2700 to 3200 on the ult which means 500 extra damage in the grand scheme of things really not too big but you do have to keep in mind we are getting the extra effect hit rate and dot damage from eyes of prey versus good night sleep well which is a bit harder to build just because you do have to build in more effect hit rate guys so just keep that in mind when building your characters out eyes of prey is best in slot because you are getting more dot damage out it's just your normal skills and stuff like that will not be doing as much damage at the end of the day it really depends on what build you're trying to run if you're running with kafka i would recommend the dot route if you're not running with kafka you're running him solo bolo then maybe good night sleep well will be better for him and then finally this is going to be the difference between eyes of prey and s5 fermata and as you can see with s5 fermata guys there's only an 18 percent damage increase here uh which is less than good night sleep well and you do have to keep in mind with this as well we are getting more dot damage with eyes of prey on top of this it is easier to build because we are getting that extra 20 percent effect hit rate from the actual card itself at a s1 so overall easier to build and it's not that much of a damage difference it's about a 700 damage difference on the bounce and about a 400 damage difference on the ult they're really not too much of a difference there even though it is an 80 percent difference uh it's not really too much considering you are getting more dot damage out of eyes of prey guys and no i didn't calculate in for welt signature light cone just because i'm going for the most free to play friendly as possible if you do have welt light cone i would recommend it over for Mata because it does do more but before hopping into the relics, guys, if you want to see all this testing done live or some testing done live, make sure you come follow us at twitch.tv forward slash YouTube can't see me. We stream there just about every single day. Links for that will be in the description below as well as the Discord too if you want to get notified when I go live or any new videos come up. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about these sussy little relics now. All right, guys, now let's talk about Kotsky Sampo's sussy little relics here. Let's talk about what his best in slots are and what they're looking like. So guys, in my opinion, his best in slot is going to be a two-piece win, two-piece musket here i think this is probably just the easiest at the farm form overall and gives you the biggest damage number two because you are getting the 12 percent attack buff from musketeer and you're also getting the 10 percent wind damage buff from eagle of the twilight line another set you could run it would be a two-piece wind two-piece speed this will help you out if you're really needing to reach that breakpoint damage the reason i say that is because you could potentially run attack boots on them if you have good enough speed substats and if you're running this two-piece speed set because it is giving you that six percent boost in speed so it could help you reach that 134 speed without having having to actually run speed boots which means more dot damage for him overall it's just really good if you can reach that breakpoint speed with it second best in slot guys is going to be four piece of musketeer and honestly it's not that bad you would think that maybe four piece of musketeer is a lot worse it's really not guys there's only about a five percent damage drop off so as far as the comparison between the two sets here guys it's about a six percent i was a bit off six percent damage difference here really not that much it's a, a, a very negligible like i said you'll get a little bit more damage running the eagle set but not that much. Your damage is changing by about 64 per bounce on the skill and about 183 on the ultimate. So like I said, overall, not that big of a difference. If you have a better set of musketeer, run a better set of the musketeer. It is always gonna be better for you to run whatever you have the best gear on versus trying to go for the sets. Now, another set you could potentially run is break effect Sampo. Just run a full break set on Sampo. I'm talking four piece thief with the banditry set on as well. Uh, this is break effect chain, everything like that. We're gonna talk about the main sets in a second here, but let me show you the difference between these sets here now i will say there is a big overall drop off in damage with this set like you're not going to be doing nearly the same amount of damage there's a 30 percent decrease in damage going from the two-piece win two-piece musketeer to the all break effect set as you can see on our alternative set that's going to be our two-piece win two-piece musketeer our main set is going to be our break effect set we are losing around 200 damage per bounce and 600 damage on the ultimate these margins will increase with the better sets that you get like i said the sets here for this that i'm testing out with are really really low damaging sets so this will be higher but that's not where the break effect shines of course it shines in the break effect damage there's a huge increase in the amount of break effect that you actually get with this set guys you literally double your break effect damage with this set you go from 6,000 break damage to around 13,000 break damage and then the wind shear goes from 8,000 damage to 16,000 damage so this could be really good especially if you're using him with kafka and he's your designated breaker because she's gonna proc that dot off that 16,000 damage and just make it kind of insane as far as the 
damage goes because that's what you're focusing on, right? You want to break the enemy shield to get as much damage as possible because break effect gives you the most dot damage possible. So, but like I said, it is a hard set to run because you do need 145 speed to get the extra break effect from the planner set. Now, while we're talking about those planner sets, what are the best planner sets to run? Personally, I think this space station is going to be the best set to run. Uh, you can run Pan Galactic as well if you do get your effect hit rate over 57%, just because this will give you a little bit more attack percentage over space ceiling station if you can actually reach this number. So if you can get over 57, then Pan Galactic will be the way to go. Um, but you just really don't get anything out of that second ability from Pan Galactic, which is kind of sad. And then finally, guys, Bandit, which is the break effect set. You need 145 speed for it. Like I said, break effect is still very viable for him and can be used on him for sure. Now, talking about some of the main sets you want to get here, on the body, you're going to be wanting to get effect hit rate if you're not running Eyes of Prey, or maybe you do want to have effect hit right here if you're running Eyes of Prey, if you don't have very many effect hit rate rolls. Uh, but if you do have that, then you want to run attack percentage here. Uh, attack percentage is going to give you the most dot damage, and just overall, it's really good. On the feet here, boys, you can either run speed or attack percentage. Like I said, if you're running that two-piece speed set, and if you're able to reach that 134 breakpoint, then you could probably run attack boots here and get more win dot up with them. That's just if you can reach that breakpoint damage, though I wouldn't recommend attack boots if you can't reach that 134 speed. On the orb, you can either run win damage boost or attack percentage. Win damage boost is just going to give you more overall for his kit to do more damage. Uh, but you can run attack percentage if you don't have this. And then finally, on the link rope, you can either run attack percentage, elemental recharge, or break effect tier. I personally recommend running attack, just because you can get more dot with him using that. But energy regen is quite viable as well because you'll be able to proc his ult off more and honestly energy regen might be more beneficial if you're running Kafka just because you can keep procking it up just because you can proc that extra dot damage that the enemy's going to take faster and more often to keep the uptime up more efficiently and then finally break effect of course break effect gives you more dot on breaks if he's your designated breaker then you might want to run this all right guys hopping into our character showcase on Mr. Kotsky Sampo himself we're just going to be using this basically as a chance to show off how you'd actually want to play him and so on and so forth. I'll be using him today in a Kafka comp, which I think that's his most viable comp to be using. So if you have Kafka, then hell yeah. If you don't have Kafka and you're using him as a solo DPS, then um, this doesn't really apply too, too much. You would just use him like a normal DPS and use his skills. But what I do when I use him on a team is I actually don't use his skills too, too often. Uh, I usually use him as an SP generator for the team. So if I have an opportunity to use a skill, of course I will. But most of the time, if I need SP, then I just use him to gather SP, gather SP with his basic attack. He also has his ultimate here too, which we'll go ahead and pop it off. We'll break the enemy shield. Let's see how much break damage we're going to do here. 12,000 damage. Wow, we Kafka is going to go into 14,000 damage on that. And then let's hit the ultimate move as well. This will also hit a pretty good damage off. Yeah, 34,000 damage. 24,000 damage from an extra proc there from the DOT. This lady's almost dead in one cycle. Uh, thanks to our boy, uh, Kotsky freaking Sampo. 12,000 damage on the skill hit there absolutely uh pog yeah easy clap we killed the boss anyways gamers that's gonna do it for today's video if you like kotsky sampo and think he's daddy as fuck then please leave that in the comment section down below like i said though that's gonna do it for today's video we're gonna be having build guides come out on also luca and kafka haven't really decided what the best builder for her is i think it's gonna be Dotka, but i just need a couple more days to gather my thoughts and post that video out there so if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and yeah that's really gonna do it for today's video if you enjoyed today's build guide then maybe leave a like anyways bye guys see you later Toodaloo!